as you can see here currently uh, these two persons they are close to each other that's why they are red but the, this particular another person and this lady is a bit far from all other thing all other person that's why their bonding box is in green color now if you go ahead and we'll see that this lady as well as this particular person person's bonding box has become red because they are close to each other now guys and welcome back to the channel so today in this video we are going to write a python script which is going to monitor the social distancing in a public area so what social distancing means is that there should be a minimum distance between two persons walking or standing nearby so we will do a inferencing over a video file and we will monitor the social distance so let's talk about which input video file we are going to use so we are going to inference over this particular video file and this is a video file of persons walking on a road so as you can see these two persons are close to each other while this person is a bit far so for these two persons the social distancing will be false and for this it will be true and for this lady because this lady is a bit far from all these persons so for this for this lady the social distancing will be true so we are going to use our same person detection and tracking uh, python script in this uh, code as well and whenever we detect a person we always draw a bounding box around that person so in this in this project we are going to draw a red um, rectangle or a bounding box when there is a, when uh, when there is the when the social distancing is false and when the social distancing is true we will simply uh, draw a green bounding box so now let's start writing our code so i'm going to use the same code which i used for person tracking this particular uh, python script detects and tracks the persons in a video file so i'm going to use the same uh, code uh, but let's just create a first new file and i will name this file as social distancing dot python and let me copy all the code from my person tracking dot script so we are going to use the same code but we just will just simply edit few parts of this code so the basic idea behind this uh, uh, monitoring the social distancing code is that we will detect the persons and based on the bounding box of this those person we will calculate the centroid once we have the centroid of a particular person we are going to calculate the distance between the centroid 1 and centroid 2 which means centroid of person 1 and centroid of person 2 and if that particular distance is less than a threshold value we will simply mark it as red which means there is the social distancing is false otherwise it will be simply green bounding box so if you are not if you don't know how uh, this code works please watch my previous tutorials and you will get the basic idea so from here uh in this we are uh, this object id is the unique id of a particular person and this bounding box is the coordinates of that particular uh, person so first of all we need to store um we need to calculate the centroid so for centroid we will take cx and let's calculate the values x1 plus x2 divided by 2 so this will give us the uh, cx and in the same way we will calculate the cy y1 plus y2 divided by 2 so this cx and cy are the coordinates of the centroid uh, we need to save this centroid uh, in a dictionary so let's create a dictionary so i'll create centroid dict is my dictionary and here i will centroid dictionary object id is equals to i'll save cx and cy cx and cy and after this i will also save the bounding box of this particular um, object id which means the person so x1 y1 x2 and y2 so what will happen here is that 
um, it will this for loop will have uh, the object IDs and the boundary box of, the, of all the person in the frame and uh, step by step we are going we are saving all the centroids and the boundary box of the person in centroid dictionary now after this for loop we will simply um, start another for loop and we will uh, iterate over the centroid dictionary so for id1.1 and id2.2 in uh, we are going to use combinations from iter tools so let's import that first from iter tools import combinations so this combinations will basically create a combination between all the persons so for example there are three persons 0 1 2 so it will create a combination between 0 1 0 3 and then 1 0 1 3 in the same way 2 2 1 2 0 and all all other things so i'll simply write here combinations and centroid dict dot items items and we are we want to make a combination between two persons now after this we will simply calculate the distance which is p1 0 minus p2 0 so this p1 belongs to the centroid of first person and p2 belongs to the centroid of another person in the same way P1 1 P2 1 now once we have this we can simply calculate the distance actual distance distance is equals to uh, for this we need to import math as well so let me import that as well import math here I'll write math dot square root dx into dx plus dy into dy so this will give me the actual distance now here we need to define a threshold value uh, so i'm going to take a threshold value of 75 but this might be different for your project so you need to manually check what threshold value suits your project so what I'm writing here is that if a distance is less than 75, which means if a distance between two persons is less than 75, we will add it, we will display a red boundary box for this. So let's create another list here, which will hold the values of all the persons who comes under red zone. So I'll create a red zone list and inside it, I will simply append, I will simply append red zone list dot append id1 which means id1 belongs to the uh, is the uh, id of the first person and id2 is the id of the second person so we'll add both these persons if if their distance is less than 75 but before adding this we simply need to check if it already present inside this or not so if id1 not in red zone then only we will add it if it's already there in red zone we don't need to add it and same goes for id2 as well so what we are doing here is that if a distance is less than 75 for two persons between two persons we are adding their id so we are checking if it's already there in red zone then we will not add if it's not if that particular ID is not present in our red zone list, we will simply add it and same goes for the ID2 as well. Now, once we have added all the IDs here, we are going to iterate over our central dict again and we will simply display those IDs in red or green boundary box. So for um, K and V or let's say ID, ID and um, let's take box bonding box in centroid dig dot items here we will check if id in if id present in red zone list then we need to display it in 
uh, we need to display it in red color if it's not then we'll simply display it in the green color so we are not going to display the rectangle here now we are going to display it here so i'll simply paste it here and instead of x1 i will take box 2 box 3 box 4 box 5 now else if it is not present in the red zone list we will simply display it in green color so let me put it in green color okay this is done so let's recap quickly so what we are doing is here we are adding all the centroid the bounding box of a particular object id object id is the particular person now here we are simply displaying the object id if you want we can also um, hide them so that's not a problem now once we have all everything in our centroid dict we are iterating over centroid dict and we are calculating the distance between any two persons and if that particular distance is less than 75 we are saying add it to a red zone otherwise don't add it so if that particular id is in the red zone we are simply displaying it in red color otherwise it's in green color now let's try to run this so we are going to inference over test video 2.mp4 now let me try to run this particular code and see what happens let me stop one second let me start it from command prompt so python social distancing dot pipe great okay so as you can see here currently uh, these two persons they are close to each other that's why they are red but the, this particular another person and this lady is a bit far from all other thing all other person that's why their bonding box is in green color now if we go ahead and we'll see that this lady as well as this particular person person's boundary box has become red because they are close to each other now so that's why their uh, boundary box color has turned from green to red and then same goes for others as well so this is how we can monitor the social distancing and this is how we can calculate the distance between the the person so like now you can see that that lady has turned green again because it, there is no persons nearby that lady but later you will see that this particular person will come close to the, the green lady thus it will become red for both so this way you can calculate the distance between two persons and you can pretty much uh, calculate the social distancing if they are following it or not so that's all for this video thank you for watching this video please like share and subscribe to the channel